Dev, to reopen an investigation, the police are going to need new evidence. He's right, you know. Gut instinct alone is not going to do the trick. Yes, and I didn't realise you'd both been to law school. Dev, look, the kids are struggling as it is. You said yourself Mr Packham was worried about them. Well, there you go, you see. Stirring it all up again, it's just going to mean more confusion for them. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, they're sad, yes, they're angry, yes, but confused, no, not a bit of it. Dev. Oh, Carl. I mean, they don't just hope their mum is innocent. They know it's me. It's me. I'm the one who's been confused. Yeah, that's all very well and good, mate. But Carl, the facts Carl. Speak... Come here, sir. Yeah. Yeah, staring up at me with his big brown eyes, silly. I mean, eyes, he's clutching at straws. Yeah, well, if it gives him peace of mind, then. Yeah, I'm just trying to save the guy. He's kicking the teeth. Sunita says she would never have done this. No, this is a woman who used to put spiders out in her yard. She was. And seduce you behind Stella's back. So I will speak to Willits and I will make him listen. Well, if you need any moral support with the police, then. Not necessary. Are you sure about that? Let's not throw in ages. Right, so to Asha and Adi. Come on, guys. Jake. It's all right. It's dead normal. Oh, yippee. See, it's their call, innit? Yeah, well, I just thought they might pop a bit more thought into it. Let's face it, whatever they called him, you were going to hate it. Am I right or am I right? How are you doing? Honest answers only, please. No good. Oh, babe. No, his name is least of his worries. He's just so vulnerable. You didn't want to leave him? I feel like I've deserted him. Come here. Tea, coffee, Moscow Mule. Just made a brew, thanks. Oh. So, how are we both? Tickety boo. Oh, right then. Good. You almost sound disappointed, Sean. Behave yourself. So, that is zero drinks orders. Yep, and zero goss. Do you know, it's a very cynical world we live in when you can't offer a friendly brew. They know something's up. Yeah, and the goss doesn't get much juicier than my own brother dumping on me from a great height, does it? Yes, well, by rights, Rob should be in custody. And her. She'll drop him now, anyway. Oh, maybe not. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? He's skint. He's jobless. He's got zero prospects. She likes him handsome, gormless and minted. Like Steve. Oh, ha-ha. Listen, Rob... He's got a good business head when he puts his mind to it. Yes, I know. And he's got a criminal record. Trust me, nobody's going to touch him with a barge pole. Wait, make that a bolt of fine silk. So we give you a hat. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Not one for tidying while you go. Me neither, mate, me neither. Right. No, I have had a proper look at her diaries. All right. Yeah, and it's got to-do list and uh, set fires to the rovers isn't on it. All right, pick up dry cleaning, One Direction, Manchester Arena. Asha, she's just crazy for Harry Styles. And I think Sunita, she just wanted to surprise her. Now, I've been going through her text as well. Now, here is one that she sent to Sophie uh, Webster just a week before she's supposed to have uh, torched the rovers and murdered the firefighter. You don't have to prove anything to us, Dad. She had everything to live for. Right. Yes, that's right. She was going to paint Asha's bedroom. She had a haircut book. She had a life. Of course she did. Yeah, and a good heart. A good heart, you know, no no uh, uh, malice, no nasty text. Here, a standing orders for four charities. I don't prove anything, though, Dev. It was going to make the police look in a new light, isn't it? Give them a reality check. Yeah, stop them playing fast and loose with her good name. No, they cannot pin this on my Sunita. Put the kettle on. Oh, hello. Can I speak to uh, Detective Sergeant Willis, please? You know, you can skip the legalese. I just need your paw print and four places. Yeah, mark the pages with little post-its. Yeah. Always read the small print. My big sis taught me that. You mean the one you tried to shaft? The devil is in the detail. You know, I actually thought you might be a bit sackcloth and ashes. Well, there's a typo here on page five. I do hate the sloppiness. Just sign it and get out. And live on what? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> well... Well, you're going to have to call the cop shop then, because I'm not leaving here empty-handed. You almost closed me down. Well, this is ten times worse. Expecting me to walk away from here with nothing after everything I've done. You are unbelievable. Haven't you got some filing to do or something, love? Um... Right. 
50 grand and, and I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, just pick a number, any number. I've not plucked it from thin air, have I? I've worked it out. Oh, were you high as a kite at the time? 50 grand is fair. After all the, the business that I've brought in, the new contracts, there's a full order book here, right? I've increased productivity. Excuse me while I go and throw up. <laughs> just what planet are you on? I've earned it. I might not deserve it, Carla, but I've earned it. No. You don't. 50 quid, maybe. A pasty and a train ticket. All oh, right, so you think that being skint's funny? Don't give me that. We both come from nothing. I've been skint plenty of times. Right. You want me to beg? <laughs> this is me begging. But, Carla, please. 50 grand for my 30% share. Just think about it, yeah? Do you know, the Rovers used to be so much fun. Betty quizzing me about the pink pound, or ranting and raving about Tracy Emin. Mm. Oh, God rest her. Has she died? Betty. Oh, yes, my lovely Betty. The minx. <laughs> it's ten to, and that clock's fast forward, unlike the factory clock. Oh, make me another brew. I can't. There's no time. Do you know, this two jobs business is a young man's game. Well, you're hardly geriatric. Well, it doesn't help the fact that I've only had half a night's kip. Mentioning no names, Eileen Hazel Grimshaw. All right, well, just keep your voice down. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being a tad noisy? Huh? Pot, kettle, blaring television. Just shush. Do you know, I bet there were hundreds, maybe a thousand people were up at three o'clock in the morning hoovering. The only difference is, 999 of them live in Australia. All right, just change the subject. Shouldn't you be in the Rovers? Mm, worst luck. You know what my trouble is, Paolo? <laughs> Do you want bullet points or a couple of sides of A4? Very droll. I'm working with the wrong Stella. How do you mean? Well, it should be Miss McCartney that has the pleasure of employing me. Ah, right. Well, there's no bacon rolls round there, Gaff. There'll be spicy bean burgers. You tired? <laughs> Just couldn't seem to nod off. Yeah, well, you want to get up, Sean. There's no point in lying there, stressing. Get up, warm drink, read a book. Ah, so you're saying the trick is to stay quiet and relaxed. Seems sensible, doesn't it, Eileen? See ya. See ya. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. You said it was urgent. Very much so. Thank you. Oh, in that case, I don't want to be rude, but could I ask you both to... Uh... Of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, guys. I'll be fine. And uh, please, please, please lose those frowns, OK? They think I'm crazy. Let us know how you get under. Yeah, let us know, mate. Cheers. Right. Let me just cut to the chase. Sunita Alahan categorically did not set fire to the Rovers. And you've got hard evidence to support this? Oh, yes. Yeah, this and this. Mr. Allahan. Oh, yes, Mr. Allahan. No, Mr. Allahan. Three bags, four, Mr. Allahan. Well, I'm here to tell you, Detective Sergeant, with all due respect, it is inconceivable that Sunita will do something like this, no matter how desperate. It is inconceivable. Now, I must apologize. I haven't been of much use up until now, but I am back and I am firing on all cylinders. So, we really need to look at everything again, I think, because, mark my words, we are missing something. So, um, well, shall we? to do with anything. Well, he thinks it shows, you know, that she had stuff to live for. What, a colour and a trim? Mother! Well, I'm sorry, but the sooner he faces up to the awful truth, the better. Uh, how did the police seem? Uh, polite, irritated, losing the will. She was as drunk as a skunk and intent on murder. End of! They could do with you and the old Bailey glow. Short and to the point. You know, he's going to drive himself around the bend. Why, well, it's the twins I feel sorry for. Oh, yeah, you and me both. And if he's going to carry on like this in front of him. I know. And if we don't talk some sense into him, those poor little beggars are going to end up in front of a shrink. So, a devoted mother, two kids to raise. She liked harmony, she hated violence. She recycled years before it became cool, she said. Pisces, yes. And she believed in the power of the individual. I'm not disputing any of that, Mr. Allen. No. But the fact remains the same. She was drunk, mm. emotional and threatening on the evening of the fire. 
lost her. She'd had a few scoops. I'd broken her heart. And she held Miss Price responsible. Well, we all rant and rave sometimes, don't we? She threatened her. Yeah, but they're just words. They're just words. It doesn't mean that she's a, an arsonist or a murderer. She stole the keys to the pub. No. Now, she has never stolen anything in her life. No, wait, I think, um... Oh. One lipstick from Boots when she was nine. Yeah, I was a bit more low-end. <laughs> Pick and mix from Woolworths. Yeah. One stolen lipstick. Not much of a rap sheet, is it? No, but she was cautioned. In March last year for criminal damage to a car. OK, now, come on. Come on, Ray. Right? You're, you're not suggesting that makes her capable of these I'm things. I'm merely stating a fact, Mr Alhan. Arguably, it confirms that Sunita could act out of character when under the influence. OK, now, please. please. Right, she jumps up and down on a car when she's had a few. That doesn't mean that she's... It was a... never an issue. I only raised it because you referred to a rap sheet. Yeah, but not murder. And not my Sunita. And it was uh, me on my high horse, my pathetic pride, and I should have listened Mr. to her Alan, she said... Dev, you've got to stop beating yourself up. And you've got to stop trashing the mother of my children. Please. Now, whoever did this is still out there. All the evidence is to the contrary. I'm sorry. It. it just goes on and on. I mean, I know that's selfish. I survived. No one wants it to be true. But it had to be Sunita. However crazy and out of couch it was, it was her. Yeah. Sunita hated me, Carl. Why did I think it was my business to set Dev straight? Oh, stop it, love. That poor firefighter. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Sneeta did this. Now, will you please stop torturing yourself? You're killing me. Donna is having a total nightmare with that guy from work. Donna. Oh, Gluten-free. Mum and Dad live in Spain. Well, I remembered. No, who's a good boyfriend? Ignore him. How come? Interested face. Nice touch. Haven't you got glasses to collect? He said he totally fancies her, but she could do with losing half a stone. Oh, what, a charmer? No, there's no other as it is. Oh, is there no? I, um, said that we'd go for a gin and slim wine with her on Friday. Friday? Great. We'll get six packets of crisps down it. Are you sure you fancy her? Yeah, of course. I don't see enough of your mates. Is he with you, Madden? <laughs> oh, he's so ickle, he's so ickle. Oh, who's the ickle dickle thing? Yeah, I noticed you give her the evils. Yeah, well, the pair will get an ickle slap. <laughs> no. They better not stress him out. Mm. Please, please, please sit somewhere else. Hiya. Hiya. Um, Hiya. Jake was back out when we left. Well, you didn't argue over him, did you? No, they were as good as gold. No more kickoffs now. Is, is he still there? No, she's gone home. She was knackered, wasn't she? Yeah. He wants a drink. Mm. No, we're all right, sir. This take it. Yes. Uh, nope. That right with you, Tommy? Yeah, free country. Good. And I'm. Great. And uh, I've borrowed this from the cupboard upstairs. Well, what's mine, yours? Hmm. It's just that Monday nights are normally pretty quiet, so. Good. Unless Crookie has remembered season four of Breaking Bad. You know, since he's become a parent, his memory has gone to pot. Yeah, well, that's called uh, sleep deprivation. And anyway, unless you've got an American passport, it is series four, not season. Mm -hmm. well, I love it when you get shitty mm -hmm. for no good reason. Mm -hmm. You look beat. Oh. There are nice ways of saying it. No, I'm just saying you get whopping great shadows under your eyes. And that's not one of them. OK. You all right? I'm fine. Come on, come on. You're going to be late. Right, well, you make sure you get an early night, love. And if Sean wants one of his girly chats, tell him to wait till breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I will. Right, you, early mm. night. Mm. See you Bye, later. Bye. So that lunchtime, is she tore you off a strip? She was right. I, I was meddling, and I am so sorry. Mm, honey, honey, I'm not blaming you. But she was sober, yes? Yeah. And your mum thought so too. Stone cold sober, she said. She was furious. She kept on asking me what Asher and 
Addie had ever done for me to want to hurt them. And I have hurt them more than I could ever know. Oh, she's in bits, mate. I'm all right, I'm all right. And you said that that's when she must have stolen the keys, yeah? Yeah, she was, um, she was customer side and that. I can just picture it now. She must have leant forward and swiped them. And she must have. OK, let's wrap this up, yeah? Same again, please, bartender. <clears throat> What's today's date? Monday the 3rd of June. Why? And who's our reigning monarch? Lizzie Windsor. Good. Well, that's senility crossed off the list. What list? Vis-a-vis -vis your memory lapse, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a certain wedding reception. Bend, yes. Yeah, well, duh. You can't go partying with the straights on Friday. Benji boy will be most offended. Listen, if we hadn't bumped into him, we would be none the wiser. But we did, and we are. Why well, don't fancy it? You can't face it, you mean? Oh, uh, whatever. Ooh, slow dances with your lady. Yeah, well, I don't think it would be much fun for her either, Exhibit A. You disappoint me. It was ever thus. It so was not. Maybe we should go back over there. Maybe. Or you can drop me off at the hospital. What now? But I can go back any time. Yeah, but But tea. he is there in that incubator all in his lonesome, OK? I won't go and let him grab my little finger. Um, what does that look for? I don't know. Is it, is it a good idea for you? Is it, is it not just going right. to make things harder? My little boy, right, theirs and mine, is missing out on the TLC, right? Are you going to drop me off or shall I get a cab? Got your text. Sorry, I forgot to put kisses on. <laughs> oh, I spy a checkbook. Things are looking up. Lose a sister, gain a payoff. Every cloud, eh? Five grand. Five grand. There's an echo in the room. Ooh, five lousy grand. That's five lousy grand more than this afternoon. I'm owed ten times this. No, nope, reality check, Rob. You actually owe nothing because you put zero cash into the company. That's not the point, and you know it. I give you those shares in good faith. Yeah, to acknowledge my contribution, to give me a stake. A nice, juicy carrot to keep me keen, to keep all them orders coming in, which they did thanks to me. No. That's purely to keep you out of prison. Oh, no, 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 no. It's to ease your guilty conscience. Don't worry, sis, you'll be fine. Three bottles of Shiraz should do the trick. Okay. Five grand going once, going twice, going three. You think you're a cut above, don't you? What? I've seen inside your fridge behind the, the organic yogurt. Dairy Lee and chicken paste. But did the Alki tell you to stiff me? What you call a five grand handout being stiff to you. And it's Mr. Alki to you. So that's it then. Five lousy grand and you just wash your hands of me. Well, you did this, Rob. You did it. No matter how many times you dress it up in your head, you did this and you do not deserve me. You're not kidding. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for robbing me blind. Well, goodbye then. I tell you what, try to stay out of prison for Mum's sake, eh? Oh, Carla, it's enough to bring a tear to a glass eye. Whatever. Hey, come on. Don't be sad, sis. It's not all bad news. I mean, I've decided I'm going to stick around here. What, with Tracy Barlow? Yeah, my worse half. She'll have you back inside by Christmas, Rob. No, once again, with feeling. No? Fine. I'll see you around a lot, probably. I'm the bloke who, who lost 50 grand and found five. <laughs> you can't miss me. Yes. Uh, Mary was, was going to be wondering where I am, you know. She's great, that. Uh, she's great with kids. Yeah. Stella's pretty upset, mate. Uh, oh, you know, Stella's upset. My kids are bereft and I'm sorry. Mm. It's just that she's beating herself up all over again. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's the last thing I wanted. You know, this is all my fault. The book stops here. 
if I'd had the affair with Sunita in the first place, then she wouldn't have hated Stella so much. And well, I don't know if I'd been a better partner, then uh, she wouldn't have been tempted to stray right. Yeah, we're all weighed down with guilt, eh? Nobody's perfect, not even Sunita. So let's not turn her into a saint. <laughs> what a saint? It's not a saint. Her name is Mud. Whereas the real uh, culprit, the murderer, he's uh, he's uh, he's out there and scot free. Well, I suppose the police have got to focus on the facts, haven't they? Mm. I mean, you know, she did have a motive. She did have the keys, and she was found in the pub. So, well, I'll, I I will prove it to them somehow. You know, mate, you've got to let this drop. For your sake, for Asha Ferrari, for my Stella. Yes, and let it drop. Carl, this isn't some petty uh, grievance. She's been accused of murder. Yeah, and there's no one sympathizes more than me and Stella, but it's got to stop. I'm telling you, as a mate, if you keep breaking it all up, you're going to regret it. Yeah, but you don't walk in my shoes. And you have no idea. No, but I know for a fact that you're the one who will suffer. If you don't draw a line, you and your kids. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, will Tina be able to let go of her feelings for baby Jake? Watch Michelle Keegan as she talks about Tina's turmoil at itv.com slash Corey now. Next, Monday Night Comedy with Ian McKellen and Derek Jacobi in Vicious. Then it's The Job Lot at 9.30.